Hello guys, this is Mahesh here from Solimshare. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk about how to register your drone as per the latest uh, circulars from uh, the Ministry of Civil Aviation Department. So starting today, that is like from 14th of Jan 2020, uh, all the drones, whether it be nano, micro, uh, large, medium, whatever size, even the toy drones have to be you know registered with the DGPA. And the process is fairly simple, uh, for which you need to have a couple of documents ready with you. Also, uh, you should note that this registration doesn't, uh, you know, provide you the permission to fly. It's only an acknowledgement to, you know, uh, register yourself as an operator and your drone with the uh, authority. So basically, uh, what you have to do is, first you have to uh, go to the website, which I will show you in the process. And then uh, after you uh, follow the process, you will get an o get an OA, which is like operator and uh, acknowledgement number. And with that, you should register your drone. And with that, you will also get a drone acknowledgement number. So I'll just show you uh, the step by step process how to do it. So first, uh, you go to the Digital Sky uh, platform website mentioned in the description, and this is landing page you will get, and click on go to the drone enrollment site. And uh, you will uh, be shown this uh, page showing like what is the time left before the deadline is complete. And uh, it will also show some of the things that you have to keep ready before you, uh, you know, do the registration. So what it says is like, you know, you have to uh, keep certain uh, documents ready. So that those are simple. So first thing is like you need to have a passport uh, copy or an other card copy. So basically front and back page of both in one single sheet, not two separate ones. Second thing is like you need to have a, a three, uh, you need to have three pictures of your drone. One is like the front view, then the top view and the close up view of the manufacturer serial number, which is there on the side of the drone. So what you have to do is take a scale or a rolling tape and just keep it by the drone to show the length or the width and the breadth of the drone. The next thing that you have to keep ready uh, apart from the passport and other card and the three photos of your drone uh, is an address proof which is basically an, uh, any of your utility bills like uh, an electricity bill or water bill or gas bill or a telephone or a mobile phone bill. Even a bank statement can be used which should not be more than three months. So uh, next thing, the fourth document that you need is a uh, education education qualification proof. And uh, if you are registering yourself or the drone, not as an individual, then you will need a PAN card of your organization. And uh, the next thing that you need is a letter on the official letterhead of the business, certifying an appointment of an authorized signatory for the business. Once these uh, six documents are kept ready, what you need is like, you know, keep all the documents under 300 KB in size. And uh, with these, you're good to go with the registration. So what you do is scroll down and uh, click on enlist my drone. Now enter the details like your name, email ID, phone number on which you need to include the OTP, your password and uh, click on generate OTP. Once you receive the OTP, uh, click on Enroll. Go to your uh, inbox and uh, you will receive a mail uh, with a link which you have to click to create the OA. Now choose whether you want to register yourself as an individual owner or the corporate owner. In my case, it's an individual owner. Now just fill up all the details required and uh, upload all the documents uh, in the relevant fields and uh, make sure that it's all under 300 kb and once it's all uploaded just click on submit and uh, you will get a message stating that uh, oan has been generated now click on uh, endless new drone you just need one uh, oan to generate uh, the drone enrollment number for n number of drones so you just simply fill in all the details uh, asked in that like name of the manufacturer model year of manufacturing and uh, serial number provided by the manufacturer uh, so this is basically the uh, you know serial number that you had uh, taken a photo of and 
Serial number of flight control module is the same as uh, serial number provided by the manufacturer and uh, down control station number is the serial number of your uh, remote control which can be uh, found on the back side of it. Now uh, mention the maximum payload weight so that you can just do a simple google search uh, with the model type and it will give the result and uh, apart from that choose the onboard controller type as manual and uh, wing type as fixed wing and mention the month and year of purchase. Now just upload the three photos of your drone that is the front view, top view and the manufacturer serial number and uh, accept to the terms and conditions and click on get done. Wait for a few seconds and uh, it will say that uh, the DN will be sent to your mail. Check your inbox and by now you would have got the DN. So that's it pretty much about how to generate the uh, owner's acknowledgement number and the drone acknowledgement number. Now once you go to the Digital Sky platform and log in, you can find the details of the drone that you have registered. As I said, uh, this is not a permission to fly the drone, but just a kind of registration for yourself. And uh, the OA and DN can be used for some future references as and when the uh, aviation department comes up with new policies or updates. Hope it helps you and uh, give a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment if you have any doubt.